Good afternoon everybody, Mel Sol here on Thursday the 28th of December 2017 and on Thursdays we do technical Thursdays talk about swing mechanics that I think will help your golf and one of my subscribers who uh, follows uh, all my daily blogs on a fairly regular basis sent me a question and he said Mel how important is keeping the left arm straight on the backswing? Great question, John. John Reams is my uh, subscriber. So, John, I love this question because it has really two answers. I am definitely in the camp of keeping the left arm straight. I've read times where pros say, oh, you don't have to keep the left arm straight. I have a look at the best players in the world and if you look at Ernie Els, if you look at Dustin Johnson, if you look at uh, Tiger Woods, if you look at Jack Nicklaus, if you look at Gary Player, all of these guys, when they get to the top of their backswing, that arm is almost hyper -excited. Can you listen to my voice here, how tight I get? I'm creating coil. If I go to the top of the backswing and I bend my arm, I lose that coil and then what happens now the only way I can create speed is with my arms because I don't have that coil to rely on. It's like a baseball pitcher. A baseball pitcher stood on the mound and just threw like that. He, he does that. He does a coil and then he uncoils and that helps him create velocity. So I want to create coil. Now John has mentioned that he has a problem keeping the left arm straight. What you want to do is keep the left arm straight until you can no longer and then start your downswing. That's the length of your backswing. So if you can only go back to there, keeping the left arm straight, and from here you have to bend it, that's the top of your backswing. If you look at John Rahm, John Rehm, that is, you know, he doesn't need a long backswing and he, he creates a huge amount of power. So it's, it's false to think that you need a big backswing to create power. You need a good coil and you accomplish that coil by keeping the left arm straight and creating that tension before you start the downswing. The second part of this is the going through what I call the extension over here. Same thing. All of these great players, when they go through here, if you look at them with the exception of Jordan Spieth, all of these guys have this great extension going through too. So if you want to maximize your power and your accuracy, coil there, that's about as far as I can go, and then extend there. If I do it from this side, the extension works right down the line like that for the accuracy part. So have a look here. This is the, this is the 10th hole at Club de Golf Melanalco, it's a tough par four. There's traps on the right, there's an out of bounds on the left, and if I hit a good drive, I'm still gonna hit most probably a four iron or a two hybrid into the green. So a tough par four, but I want to make sure that I keep my left arm straight on the backswing. I'll take that. So please work on your backswing until you can't go anymore and don't allow that left arm to bend. You'll definitely get more power even though you've shortened your backswing a little bit. Thanks for watching.